Mm. Oh man. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> they tried to make him look cooler, which is fair. Wait, what does that mean? Okay. Oh, it's become even more fucked up. Where am I? We're on a JSDF destroyer in the infirmary. <laughs> you found me. You were out there floating, clinging to a piece of wreckage. You those wounds. I don't know how you made it, but here you are. Mm. You saved my life. Thank you. I'm, um, I'm just glad you're okay, Hayabusa. <laughs> it's not like I like you or anything, Babaka. <laughs> oh. I couldn't save her. That arm texture was not nice to look at. The man in the mask, he was Kana's father. Theodore? It can't be. And I cut him down. I killed Kana's father right in front of her. <laughs> she called me a murderer. No! This is one of those just talk things. <laughs> Stop sharing that shot. Trying to find her way home. Why would she go back to Japan? But in your condition. Oh, is she she's half Japanese, right? Like okay, fine. It's just she does not look Japanese even remotely, and her father is a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. And you're like, uh I thought she was British. Cliff is British. <laughs> Don't flash back to that. That was cringe. We will be together. Her, me, and you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's bring Connor home. I'll go tell the others. Glad I got Theodore out of the way. <laughs> Make it a family. Time to go. Oh, he was just listening in. Okay, that's a lot to unpack, but like, for a while there, I didn't really understand how Kana is considered, like, related to Japan as her home country at all, because you never see her birth mother. And then you think, oh, but Mizuki's Japanese, and that was her sister. It's like, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I guess. It's, yeah. And, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? I guess they assume that you didn't play Ninja Gaiden 2. Suddenly landed on the shores of Japan, continues to turn Tokyo into an ocean of flame. Ah, oh, it's like Godzilla, but literally a giant fucking baby. Maybe connected to the mystery group of recently declared war against the world. Ah, I see. They like Mizuki's sister looks identical to Mizuki, so that's that's why I got confused. This'll do. And you see her in like a tiny phone background once, so. Okay. I'll see you soon. Yeah. So yeah, like what I was saying, the the leader of the Black Spider Ninja Clan fucking hated Ryu, and for some reason gains grudging respect for him after you murder him multiple times and he is betrayed by a demon and he's like oh i guess he's not so bad after all because he murdered me and all of my friends so now i grudgingly show respect for him and let him use my blade because he's like a bro like me and i can see that now it's like it kind of works for the jetstream sam raiden situation because it's like oh you know he lost his way but you're never really given 
the idea that the Black Spider Ninja Clan, who are hard set on trying to wipe out your clan, actually are just misguided. In fact, they still canonically hate you, even in this game. So it's like, why would he be like, nah, you're chill, bro. So surely he would have burning revenge even in the afterlife, because he did in two. You literally go to the afterlife and kill him again. So... <laughs> Or annihilate him, as they said, in the game. In the Chivos of that game. Just, you know, it's like different, right? Like, Jetstream Sam is confused and he loses his sense of identity. That's different. Like, <laughs> these guys were set on killing you for, like, generations. But, you know. They tried to clean up his design and make it less ridiculous for this game and like whatever so but he doesn't sh do or say anything he just kind of stands around and approves <laughs> i just left those guys i was like oh fuck it I'm sick of being spammed by rocket fire with seemingly endless waves of dudes, so I'm just gonna progress anyway and see if they stop me from moving forwards. Ah. I'm still getting spammed with rocket launcher fire. <laughs> Seriously. Like. Count, count how many times we've had to fight the fiends as well. Like, this game, because it's not about fiends, means that a lot of the time you were just fighting generic waves of dudes over and over and over again, and it just gets a bit, like, boring, you know? Because I'm fighting the same guys I was fighting in Mission 2 here, again so it gets a bit repetitive because you're not varying anything up really and when you do vary it up it's like enemy types that I don't like fighting so <laughs> that's probably the core complaint a lot of people had when this game came out Oh, these guys. Spiky dudes. So I kind of see what they're doing for the final mission. They're kind of making you fight every enemy type you've encountered. So, okay, I'll shut up then. Oh. No. The Fan Annihilator. The thing that's trying to break my PS4 the most. It's the same as when I play Mortal Kombat 11 and certain characters come in and do a big key explosion of neon bullshit and it just blows the fans out of my PS4 for a good while and I'm like, seriously, whoever chose this intro is an asshole. Like, every time Scorpion appears and does his Fire Inferno entrance, my fans just go boom, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh shit. Please don't break my PS4 just because you want to show particle effects. Please. I don't want to buy a PS5. I'm a poor boy. Oh, I was just talking about fiends. Ah yes, the fiend tactic of running off screen and then running in screen and hitting me once I'm running off screen again! How fiendish! Like he keeps doing it too, like this is his tactic. Camera abuse. Look! Look at this shit! What a troll master! Oh, 
Oh, thanks, geometry. Uh, <laughs> uh okay. Let me just get a section over with us. Just, oh, please just let me execute you. Oh, <laughs> everything's standing in my way. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, just get rid of this dude. Like, who cares? Oh, he just took that like a champ. Okay. Oh. Oh. There you go. Just one last guy and then this horde wave is over. I think. Oh. My arm. Oh, cutscene. Oh! Oh! It's you guys, I forgot you were... see them again. It really makes you start to wonder why I even ever take that purple gem out of my blade, because by the end of every single Ninja Garden game, the purple gem is put back in my blade. It's like after a certain point, you should just stop returning it. <laughs> just keep it in the blade. <laughs> just seems like you're going to lose it if it's not in the blade the whole time, you know? It's like taking the SD card out of your phone and then going, Oh shit, where did I put my SD card? Oh fuck. Die. He won't die. Also, there's a giant kaiju-like thing going around this uh, area, blowing up Tokyo, and these guys really have the time to be shouting DOI and fighting me again. It's like, really dude, don't, no self-preservation then. Just, I'm gonna get in the way and cause problems when it's like, you know, Be in your best interest to leave. Ah, the magical glow sticks. But he pulled out his gun, which means he's now weak. Are they dead? I saw more people run down. Oh no, it's you guys. I hate these enemies. Did it kill some of you? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, it's too much to ask. Uh, whenever you see these guys, you think, oh, this would have been an easy battle if it was like certain enemies, but now it's gonna be a half hour slog that slows down any progress for no reason. Because of their dumb little shields that I still haven't worked out. Oh, thanks for blowing the fucking speakers out, dude, with your stupid projectile spam. Thanks. Jet flying overhead sound just puts me on edge the whole time because I'm thinking, oh fuck, here comes the projectile spam and it's just 
a bad choice of sound effect. Oh, we have to look at this stupid design again. She's just kind of wandering around, like, why am I here? <laughs> like. Oh, these guys. Ow. <laughs> like, this game should have been doing this the whole time, where there's, like, demons and soldiers fighting you at the same time, and it really doesn't do that all that much. You also don't fight ninjas that much, but when you do, they're wearing such similar garb now that it's very hard to pick yourself out. Whereas before, you never had that problem. I didn't really in Ninja Gaiden 2 have that problem that much, so... Oh. Are they dead? Oh, another rocket launcher. He's blocking me with his rocket launcher so that he can go back to spamming me with his fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> that is shit. Oh, I think he's bugged. That's not normal. What the hell? <laughs> what? Oh my God. What happened? What happened there? He was just spamming the ground for like... Not much better now, but he's returned to normal behavior. Sorry, I can't tell what's happening. This is a mass of close-up polygons and textures. Are you dead yet? So there's a surprising amount of guys, and they keep bringing in more guys. This doesn't look like a big arena area, to be honest. <laughs> Just that guy's layered fucking grunts over himself again and again where he's just like It's <laughs> just like they really got me for some reason. Why do they make such gargly noises when you hit them? It's like they're drowning. Oh. <laughs> I'm a cool ninja, shut up. Ah, good. This linear pathway, I was lost. see why I was auto locked on to there but it's fine oh no <laughs> oh they had to didn't they had to do it to me kill these guys they respawn into more problematic guys he's gonna he's gonna grab me no just kind of sit on me suggestively kind of weird. I don't like those guys. This whole enemy tree. I just don't like them. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. 
is two of them right now, but you know some more will respawn. If the body doesn't dissolve away, one of them's gonna get up again and be a sneaky boy or one of these guys if you're really unlucky. Roar. Roar, roar. I'm a monster. So, is there any reason why these guys are even here? Like, kind of a while away from that lab. Just chilling, getting some coffee, just felt like going to Tokyo today. Just going on holiday. BOWs need a holiday too. That was really unclear that he died, it just kind of clipped into a corpse, but that's okay. Oh great, more dudes. Zombie night out. Awesome. Oh, stop trying to hunt me. Not into you that way. Or at all for that matter. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, I really hate fighting these guys. Like every time I see them, it's that little like mini migraine in your head. Like, oh, I have to deal with this shit. <laughs> like, oh, it kind of reminds me of when I I recently bought Resident Evil Zero, and I was like, I'm gonna see, like, and you can immediately feel the complaints people have for that game. And it just depends on what your priorities are that annoy you the most, like gameplay, story, whatever. But like, the moment you're playing as Billy and you're walking up and down a train, picking up singular items to move them to their key slots, and so you can have space to pick up a shotgun, you're like, it's that same kind of feeling as when I see these guys, where there's a little bit of a like buzzing feeling in my like, sinuses and like a mild migraine onset and you're just like oh <laughs> no <laughs> that feeling of like oh for the next hour i'm just gonna be walking up and down this train car and moving herbs around because oh. it's survival horror and i need to keep them <laughs> Why can't I pick up the key for the briefcase when I have the briefcase because my inventory's full? I'm just gonna combine it with the briefcase anyway. <laughs> that feeling. Is it just me? Does anyone else get a physical feeling like just above the bridge of their nose, like a little mild migraine where they're like, oh. <laughs> Feeling it right now when the jelly is on my screen because I've got low health and uh, everything's going ba bum ba bum and all these sneaky boys are like, nah uh uh, you didn't hit me. Orangutan hit you, or Gorillaman. Roar! I'm ruining the gameplay, roar! Now I'm dead, but you know as soon as shit I'm gonna reform. You can even see me doing it! No! <laughs> Fucking Lego motherfucker. Why is everyone who I don't like in this game to fight the Lego brick dude and the guy who resurrects with Lego bricks? Is that like a thing? You know, the Tetris dudes. Is it because that's the new enemies and I'm biased? Or is it because the new enemies suck and I'm justified in my biasedness? I hear Bird. Oh, he's dead, good. Oh shit, let's just run away before they can respawn. Help me, Bird. Save me from this nightmare. Japan is awful. The rent's too high and the pay teacher's too little. <laughs> Fuck you, Akawas.
Muramasa. Oh, you're alive. You. Tell me, what is that? Lol, I have no fucking clue. The, the goddess. But she bore the dragon sword. <laughs> Dude, I'm as confused as you. Muramasa is me. He's like, what the fuck is going on? And the dragon sword. He's here to help you, the player, understand. How do you know that? that the power of the dragon sword can only kill that which is truly evil. Even if you get your sword back, you may not be able to finish her. You may not be able to massacre this child. So says my old man wisdom. Try, nonetheless. Because it is your duty as a dragon ninja? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Because I promised a little girl. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh, that is a fine reason. This is getting into creepy territory. Did you just touch my dick? You must have <laughs> what the fuck? It's just because he's so small, but he just rapped on my cod piece like, Ah, oh, good on you. <laughs> oh, Muramasa. They reduced him to, like, helping the player understand the motivations and, like, recap the whole story. He's like, what's going on with you? And he's like, oh, uh, why are you helping? Because, you know, I have to. Oh, okay. It's like that old, it's like if you have a parent in your house and they're like, why does he hate him after not watching the half of the movie, you know? No. You can't shoot this car. I am the car shoot police, which is just the police. Oh, I didn't expect this to have an all rails section, but it does, and it's weird. <laughs> Uh, oh, hello. Kill all of these vultures. Left? Your left? My left? Oh, your left. You're behind or <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting confused because I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm fine. You're fine? The car's on fire. Are you sure you're, uh, we're fine? Oh, hello. Infested chopper number 500. Is there anything less creative than helicopter? as an antagonistic force in a game. I mean as an enemy. Just every time I see one now I think of DMC2 and I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> They're not even that bad. Metal Gear Rising had them, loads of games have them, where you fight them I mean. Okay, is the section over? Get them! Get them! Great. Great dialogue, mate. Get them! Get them! Do it! Come on! <laughs> oh no! Rocket spam! <laughs> Remember, this is culturally very upsetting for the Japanese, as they do not like murder. <laughs> Fast. What are you doing? Okay. I trust you, Ryu. Targets accelerate. Why do you trust me? I've literally done nothing but lose your adoptive child. <laughs> I've been the problem for a lot of this game. It just shows the power of lady boners. I'm a man, I can't ask for help. <laughs> I 
I'm not asking you for directions, but please lead the way. Thanks for telling me. I, I don't know where I am. This is how I walk. Shut up.